Harvard has the field clear here in the league. Let's face it, the, there are teams that, that, that can play with, with them, but, but there's nobody that, that, that uh, has as much going for them uh, as Harvard. Harvard should, is, the, is the clear favorite. So this is, this is the moment of, you know, this is the pinnacle. Harvard has three players that I believe would be in any rotation uh, in America. Uh, Wright, in, in some order, doesn't even, Wright, who was the Ivy League reigning player of the year, Kyle Casey, who's a terrific mid-sized player, and, and Brandon Curry. The point guard is very, very good. That's sort of got all three positions covered in the sense of, uh, of, of superior players, players that, that play anywhere. So I just thought it was an inspired hire by Harvard when they, when they got Tommy Amaker. That was a great choice. Uh, and I said as somebody who was a personal friend of a former coach, that that's neither here nor there with regard to Tommy himself. Tommy didn't, Tommy's the job was there and Tommy accepted. He's, he's a He's a, a total package. He's smart, and, and uh, uh, he obviously can coach. And, and uh, but the most important thing is to start with naturally is can you attract players? Clearly, he's proven he can do that. The goal you want is to emulate the Cornell. You know, we're only two years removed from a great Ivy League team. One of the great Ivy League teams ever was Cornell of, of two years ago, and. Uh, so the bar has been set what can be accomplished. They not only got a, I think they were 12, if I'm not mistaken, and, and they won two games. <clears throat> and, and they beat national programs, Temple and Wisconsin. Uh, that, if Harvard could, if that happens, then it's a phenomenally successful year. And more than that happened would be, I mean, we're talking almost science fiction now. Uh, but that, that would be, that would be the goal. But you know it's attainable for an Ivy League team because we've seen it in the very recent times. Harvard has to prove you know, right now, I saw, we know what Cornell did. They did it. They did it. They won it three years in a row, and, they, and then the senior year, they capped it off with two wins in the NCAA tournament. So I have to say that I'd have to give them the edge, but, but it is well within Harvard's capability of, of, of being, beating. They have beaten national teams already this year, and, um, and, uh, but they have to do it. And there's a lot of pressure on Harvard. You know, everybody knows they've never won the Ivy League, they're the only team that hasn't won it, haven't been in a tournament, but just once, 1946, all that stuff. And, uh, and, and these, you got, uh, this is, it's all pointing to this year.